so yeah that's the reason as to why life be started life in i mean it started becoming busy and you know sometimes god will talk to you and he will ask you to <laughs> It's this bathroom rug that I have bought and I'm so so much happy set of mats that I have bought it's for toilet but again I saw these pictures guys I did I think I didn't like uh, observe closely these pictures they look like kitchen something like that but again it's for bathroom because it even have this thing for covering the toilet bowl this thing okay I bought these open are they clocks I think they are clocks for my husband I hope he loves them <coughs> my husband is complicated in a way you may not buy this sometimes you move you may think you're buying him something nice something that he will love that you're surprising him and it may not hit 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 that place of feeling excited so i bought two of them the shower curtains and they are long it's um 180 by 220 centimeters so it's like two How are you doing? I hope that you're all doing good and keeping safe. I'm doing good. I'm keeping safe. Poor well, guys, it has been a whole month since well, we had this first time. Hugs to all of you, everyone who checked up on me, especially Sharon McKenna. Hi, girl, and everybody else. Let me tell you guys. Let me just put my glasses because I'm about to head out and it's a bit sunny. <laughs> We have a lot to catch up on guys uh, i'm gonna be updating you on some things here and there some changes that has happened in my life what i've been up to yeah you see so my baby has been using my sunglasses as his toys i'm telling you like this one already has some food particles i don't know whether you guys can see on the frames he has been using my sunglasses and glasses as toy and I've been giving him I think I need to stop or else I'll go back to square zero <coughs> sorry so yeah guys Sharon Sharon McKenna she dropped a comment on my previous video and she was like who misses mama light three weeks hope all is well with you and your family yes girl we are good I'm good my family is doing fantastic we thank God for the gift of life for the gift of good health for the gift of um every, we are good we are good we are good and we thank god so yeah a lot happened guys um, i don't even know where to start first of all i feel weird to be in front of camera i'm not used to vlogging second i hope that i'm sounding well because i just recovered from a cold <coughs> but manners sorry guys I was intending to come back on YouTube last week 
but again I got a flu I had to recover from the flu so that I can I come back yeah so yeah I think the last time I saw you was like four weeks ago and let me tell you guys there's no day that goes without me thinking about you <laughs> yeah um what happened guys let me stay yeah let's start from there what happened is this guys as you all know i started um a business right baby shop uh yeah i started back in february but like um i can say that i started it well back in june yes june or april may june around there because that's where i had to work on it and it had to work because life was lifing okay life was lifing we were in the process of buying our new home and as i always tell you guys it will it will always be my testimony the reason as to why light baby shop was born is because it's not because i just wanted to start it it's because we were in the process of um, getting a home and the maths were not mathing <laughs> like for okay, let me be serious let me, let me stop all these jokes um our budget was not budgeting guys <laughs> i need to stop this thing okay guys well we had to let me tell you now we had to start this business for the purpose of cash flow so we just needed something like some you know cash flow like for example we want to fill the car there's some money coming in apart from the salary my salary and my husband's salary uh for example if i want to restock on weekly basis we wanted to make sure that we have cash flow uh, apart from my salary coming in and my husband's salary here yeah. so that's why we started like baby shop then god surprised us and it blew away guys mambi you nimekuwa nayo like i have had to adapt so fast make so many changes for example very many changes guys let me tell you so i was doing the business purely online i hope that you can't hear some people who are talking somewhere can you hear them just ignore so it was purely online at first then i opened some branches and let me tell you guys our online community has really grown and i just had to adapt like guys have you ever like prayed for something and then god bless you so this has taught me something every time when you're praying for blessings from god be ready don't just ask god to give you a job and you're not ready for that job don't ask god to give you a six-figure job or um a seven figure job etc and i'm not even ready to put the effort for you to be able to earn that amount of money you know many other times we're like god please help me get a job that i'm being paid a certain amount of money but we forget that this job comes with many responsibilities and sometimes we are not even ready um to meet the targets you know such things so light baby shop happened so fast so fast um, online and I normally see some of you there. Hi guys, by the way, please, whenever you come to my inbox, especially when you're inquiring about Light Baby Shop, just say hi, I'm a fan from YouTube so that I can hug you. You know you guys, you know, you know. <clears throat> it feels like a bestie has just checked up on you, like a friend has just said hi you know what i mean <laughs> yeah and sometimes you can always get a discount you never know you never know mm -hmm. so um, guys my voice is blocking <coughs> sorry sorry oh god yeah so um, life has been like the business has been on my neck but i thank god um at some point we really needed to know how we're gonna have much stock coming in because um the product that i sell 
the person who supplies for me also i know on her end she's like why wow, this year god has blessed me because she has had to level up in terms of supplying in terms of making sure that the stock is ready and such things huh? so yeah that's the reason as to why life be started life in i mean it started becoming busy and you know sometimes god will talk to you and he will ask you to take a break and there's nothing wrong with that taking time to rest that's why i post on creating content i had to rest i had to relax i had to recharge i had to reset and i thank god for all that okay so guys it's good to obey the voice of god imagine if i did not obey the voice of god asking me to start like baby shop because at that particular point we were like for if we're gonna take we bought this house back in august no back in july because we moved in from the first of august so for the first three months or four months we were so tight financially so we were like it's either we don't um proceed with the project either we quit or we go for it but we needed a side hustle so i obeyed the voice of god and started this side hustle i won't repeat the whole story because i'm always telling you guys i started this hustle with 5000 i remember and uh, this 5k we got it from somewhere like the, another budget so we had allocated a certain 11k for a certain budget so we took 5k from that budget so i was like i will return it because we were bad and that's how light baby shop was born <laughs> that's how it was born and we thank god so obeying the voice the voice of god is really important because sometimes you can lock yourself out i was listening to sarah jakes and nowadays i love listening to her because her preachings are not only spiritual but also motivating it's like what god my phone is just vibrating i'm so sure my clients are waiting for me because of I need to, someone is asking for my tears, I need to go and do and plan for some deliveries. A second day, there's a client who is asking for our till number. Mm -hmm. A minute, a minute, a minute. So I have been listening to Sarah Jakes, Roberts. And her preachings and there's a someone that he did about shifting to a new dimension and um, <clears throat> she was saying that sometimes it's not easy to identify whether something is a new dimension like an opening is a new dimension or not because sometimes you may move thinking that it's a new dimension and it's not and then you end up being disappointed so you really have to discern you really need to pray to god ask the holy spirit to guide you so that you get to know whether the new door is actually a new dimension for your breakthrough so sometimes it can be a dimension for your breakthrough and sometimes it may not so you really need to pray to god for guidance a lot a lot a lot so yeah so what was i saying i just got distracted guys distracted yeah so i was listening to her someone and she was saying that um new dimension shifting into a new dimension sometimes you really need to be careful so that you don't miss out because when you miss out that means that you have missed out so imagine if i missed out on starting this business you know my camera is shaking yeah it's cool so imagine if i missed out on uh why is it shaking is it because of where i have placed it hey, this camera nowadays it over works we use this camera to to create photographies photos at the photographies photos for the shop like we do we normally do photography using this camera so <coughs> You should never miss your dimension pray to god that he guides you when uh, he opens a door for you you are able to identify that this is a new door for me this is a new dimension for me i need to show up so that god will give you enough grace for that new door 
it's really important and she was saying that um, when you miss out sometimes like going back it's not easy you also really need to to have faith in God because faith in God will always guide you like it will always guide you go for it telling you go for it and uh, the grace of God will carry you and as I was listening to that someone I was also thinking about how these people in the Bible obeyed God and how the results were good for example Abraham do you remember the story sorry to non-christians <laughs> because if you're not a christian you will not understand this i understand that i have a community of muslims who follow me who follow me and indians too so sorry so if you're a christian and you read the bible then you know the story of abraham abraham stayed for so many years without getting a baby they were barren guys my camera is shaking shaking I don't understand why let me hold it like that yeah so um, Abraham said is it that my camera has an issue or can you see my screen shaking okay so um, Abraham stayed for long 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 for the longest without a baby and then God blessed them with a son Isaac and at some point God asked Abraham to sacrifice that baby and I was thinking what was going through Abraham's mind let me get this camera can you take it? So I was asking myself what was going through Abraham's mind when uh, God asked him to go and sacrifice his only son and I was like no sometimes he was like really God I stayed for all these years praying for a baby now you have given me a baby and you want me to sacrifice the baby but Abraham obeyed and when he obeyed he God provided a lamp for the sacrifice instead and that's when he I think he said God is um, Jehovah Jireh I think yeah provider that's when he said he is Jehovah Jireh because it means God is a provider I was also thinking about how Moses obeyed the call from God for him to go and uh, and uh, rescue the children of Israel from Egypt and at some point he had reasons as to why he's not in a position to do that telling god don't you know that i'm a stammerer etc etc but god convinced him and told him you know what i will be with you i am who i am and many are the times that we normally see like we are not worthy we, we we just find reasons as to why we should not do what god is calling us to do you understand so yeah but again as a result of his obedience god rescued a whole generation from slavery you know so it's good to obey the voice of God because obeying the voice of God will always give you a breakthrough also the mother to Moses you remember he had she had an in an inner voice telling her to hide the baby because at that point they were sacrificing the firstborn sons and the mother just she had to hide Moses and that's how now Moses came to stay in the king's place etc and later God used him to go and deliver the children of Israel obedience guys I also remember if um, Moses had killed someone in Egypt and that's why he did not go how many times do we flashback of our failures like we think about how we have failed many times and we are like we cannot do this because we made mistakes in the past and these mistakes will catch up with us so we lock ourselves out from uh, God's calling from what God wants us to do you understand so I think it's good to it's good to obey the voice of God pray that God will always guide you okay so today is on Monday it's at 9.41. Why am I not at work? It's because nowadays I work. Um, I normally have shifts. I don't work 8 to 5. It's a shift job and I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't work 
at night I just work either morning hours or in the afternoon and I'm happy to God I'm so grateful to God for that blessing because that's something that I really needed especially with the niche of my new business yeah because of finding time so right now I'm headed out I need to go today I have an off day I need to go and uh, plan for some deliveries that we need to do so many guys so I just have to go because I'm late already we normally open the shop at 9 a.m. and it's at 9 42 so I'm already late catching up with you here um, but later in the day I think I need to go to saloon my hair is not looking so good it's a bit messy so I need to wash and straighten the hair I was I'm also thinking about doing my nails and uh, some pedicure I don't know but let's see how the day goes I have a lot 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 guys to catch up on with you yeah so stay tuned let's go to work I think I need to go out and open the gate Nowadays we have two security guards, one for night and one for during the day, so I don't have to worry about opening the main gates. The main gate outside, like the main entrance to the estate, but the gates for for our compound. Let me just open then go. Let's do that. <laughs> A nice spot for me. <laughs> Let me leave the car. Let me just start the car so that the engine oil can be heating up. Then I open the gates. We leave.
So guys, I have arrived at the shop. Let me show you some of the outfits that we have. I think it's a bit noisy because of the main road. So these are the track suits that we have, guys. Really cute track suits for kids. This is another one also. Really cute. A really cute one here. Why have I not seen this one? Okay. There is this one. This sorry 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 sorry. This red it's so cute. Like every all of our outfits are really cute and um of premium quality. That's another one. Look at the way this one is cute. Them there is this one too really cute all of them are so cute that is our desk right there <laughs> okay let me show you more cute outfits cute outfits cute outfits cute outfits there are so many we have many and I'm just to pack almost half of them for deliveries most of them have are sold out already but we will be stocking more today ah that's another one really cute like they are all cute guys and the quality is premium 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 quality we really have my rider is here guys here he is. Hato say hi to the guys. Yeah. <laughs> say hi to the people. <laughs> oh, my is here, guys. I can't continue with the vlog. Let me pack deliveries for him so that I release him.
I'm back home. Um, as you can see, I did not manage to go to salon, but I managed to go to Kamukonji and uh, bought some few items that I'm gonna be showing you. I, th I know my lipstick is looking so bad because I have worn it the whole day. But I will work on it after this. It's at night already. It's at 10 p.m. if I'm not wrong. So let me do a quick haul of what I have bought from Kamukonji. Then I think uh, tomorrow we're gonna um, do the bathroom makeover. I'm so much excited. So, <coughs> sorry. The first thing that I have bought is the bathroom rack. Let me go for that. Um, let me remove slippers because my baby sometimes it's like he knows how I walk sometimes it's like he knows how I walk and then he wakes up So this this rack, I don't know whether you will be able to see. Guys, my tripod is at the shop. <coughs> it's this bathroom rack that I have bought, and I'm so so much happy because I've been wanting to buy this rack online. It has been costing I think around 3,500, but I was able to get it at Kamkonji for. 2500 yeah and let me show you okay it's here guys this is the entrance to the bathroom so i've been able to buy this rack i love it it's so stable so it is a diy bathroom rack it's a bathroom it's a toilet rack for sure it's a toilet rack so you have to like connect with the screws and it is strong yeah that's how it looks like yeah focus 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 <coughs> that's how it looks like so i'll be organizing my towels right here i have a flower a dear flower a plant over there my self-care products right here and hubby's self-care products right there yep so that's the first thing that i have bought and i'm happy i'm super happy super happy guys you should see how it is blending in so well with my bathroom because my bathroom has like quite um quite what sink etc something else that i have bought is this set of mats oh my god you should see where i have placed my mats already don't i don't have tripod but we're gonna work on that so there is this set of mats that i have bought it's for toilet but again i saw these pictures guys i did i think i didn't like uh, observe closely these pictures they look like kitchen something like that but again it's for bathroom because it even have this thing for covering the toilet bowl this thing okay even at the back you see the cover for the toilet that thing <coughs> but looks like food i loved the color because of how 
it's blending in well with the wardrobe yeah looks cute the way it's blending but again this part for food it is giving kitchen vibes i'm not so sure whether i'll be putting these mats in the bathroom not so sure so there is this one and i don't like how they look in my kitchen i won't lie why didn't i say i think i was in a hurry i don't like how they look in my kitchen because this is not what i want for my kitchen i want something different for my kitchen so this is not what i want for my kitchen and it's not what okay it could have looked nice i think i'll try and say okay let's see guys let's see let's see let's see if we put this mat right here the way the entryway for the bathroom okay i'm not gonna move the rack how will it look like so let's see let's see let's see let's see okay how is that how is that To be honest, I don't know about that set at 1000. Not so bad, but I would not have wanted to chum up my 1k. I think it's good when it's here at the entryway. I will show you once I style, once I do the bathroom makeover. For now, I'm not so satisfied. And there is this one. Now, this is what was meant to be the mat for the toilet seat. I was in a hurry. By the way, guys, I'm so proud of myself because Kitambo, I used to be like afraid of go of going to town with the car because I'm not a good driver. I'm a fresher. But today, I think for the last two days that I have gone to the Kamukonji side, I always go. Keep my hair on this. I always go and pack my hair at Nasiko. You know that building. And the car is so safe in there. My husband is looking at me like, yes, at Nasiko. Now you see the roundabout at Kamukonji. I used to be scared of it. Like, what if I mess up and then the traffic police finds me? What if? You know the crazy traffic in town. But for the last two days, I have parked the car at Nasiko. Like, I always just go drop the car there inside it's safe and secure then i go for my errands then later i finish the errands then go pick the car as i go home even at gikomba i, I just go and park the car at Nasiko. i'm so proud of myself for that that's a huge milestone okay let me show you the next thing that i bought i bought these open are they clocks i think they are clocks for my husband I hope he loves them <coughs> my husband is complicated in a way you may not buy this sometimes you move you may think you're buying him something nice something that he will love that you're surprising him and it may not hit 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 that place of feeling excited and all so i bought them i bought him these clocks for staying at home in the living area yeah I loved them. I also bought this. Thank you guys. Where is my tripod? Who is doing this to me? I also bought this open shoes. I think my baby is on the way of waking up. He has had my voice probably. Okay. There are these open shoes here. For staying at home. Mine. How cool is this? How cool is that for staying at home? So for hubby, I bought at 500, mine I bought at 450. The rack I bought at 2500. The bathroom mats that I'm not so happy about, I bought at 1K. I hope that I will be creative and use that mat. For sure, for sure. <laughs> okay, is this? Okay. Okay, guys, let me tell you. Now, I've been wanting to have shower curtains. In the bathroom i think the theme for my bathroom is black and white then it will have a touch of green plant 
in the on the shower heads i think i'll have to go back to stage markets um i went late i already updated you in the morning that i was to go to work first then go there so a touch of green touch of the the decorative pieces guys as i buy i will be sharing with you we will see but i already love let me tell you the way you're seeing that rack rack over there i have already like tested it in the bathroom and it looks i will show you guys i think this video will be super long if we start doing bathroom makeover right now maybe we close the vlog at this particular point then we do the bathroom makeover in the next video because it also needs a deep cleaning so i bought two of them the shower curtains and they are long it's um 180 by 220 centimeters so it's like two meters long it's tall enough i love it i love it the height is nice so i bought it at 500 so i got two for the bathroom and i don't have the rack not the rack the rod for the curtain so i think i'll have to call fundi tomorrow or the day after tomorrow i think tomorrow i'll be at work hubby will be at work he won't be working from home so i can't call fundi <coughs> i think i'll have to call fundi on uh, today is on wednesday tomorrow is on thursday maybe on friday or saturday so that he can come and install the curtain rod and then i start using these shower curtains like yesterday because i don't like how the water normally splash on all over the bathroom so this is the first one the second one i have already opened why 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 look at that so cute love it love 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 it so i bought two for the purpose of cleaning so that when we remove this one for cleaning we have another one for changing these things it's like buying them it's like a continuous thing because you can't say like you have purchased like enough stuff over time you will need to restock now and then now and then so i'm happy i wasn't able to go to the boys to shop for my self-care products i think i have a shower gel um so i don't think that i'll be buying a collection of shower gels as i was thinking because i already bought these things and they were out of the budgets Happy told me in the morning to treat myself and then I ended up buying these things. So you see now how my budget has been tampered with. So I don't think that I'll be able to buy like a collection of shower gels. I just have a shower gel, a collection of body mists. I think I'll just have one or two, not a collection. Mm, what else? I need to buy the plant. A plant for placing somewhere here in the bathroom and then i will need to buy a plant for the shower head at stitch market they sell at a very nice affordable price yeah and i think i also need to buy christmas tree but that will not be in today's video it will be in another video because i think you now i feel like i have a family to to be excited about christmas tree Kitambo, I was like Christmas tree for myself. I don't think I was vibing to eat, but now I need to do that for my family for light. Yeah, I'm so much happy that light is also eating solids like solids for real. <coughs> like he loves chapati. It's not it's not like he eats chapati like so much, but he will eat it. If you give him like the quarter piece, he will eat it like halfway. Solid guys, and he chews. And if you take away that chapati, guys, he will cry and throat and trance. And he loves wheat, he loves bread, he loves anything, anything wheat. So I'm excited because I think I will now get more interested in baking and um, cooking things like queen cakes, all those things, because I know light will be over the moon. You know what I mean? Guys, do you remember that excitement for cooking chapati at home when you were growing up? So um, I feel so much excited that my baby might feel the same. The fact that he loves wheat. My husband loves wheat too. But he doesn't eat eggs. So baking becomes a challenge to me. But I think I'll start. I'll try 
baking without eggs and say, I think eggs are just for content not it's not like you have to bake using eggs I think it's just for content yeah <coughs> So guys, I think that's it for today's video. If the video is already long, let's pause it at this particular point. Uh, we will open the next video with a bathroom makeover. We start with the deep cleaning. We make over it. Then uh, we see whether we will have the Christmas tree up in the next video. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I found a really nice Christmas tree at State Market. Two days I was going to Kamukonji and it was going for 4500 It's big and it's a black, not black, it's a white green tree. I don't like the green tree. In fact, I don't like, like the white one. So the green white looks amazing. And let's see if we will be able actually to get the Christmas tree in the next video. I'm not so sure. But probably because we already today is on 29th of November, so on uh, in the next two days it will be Christmas. And if we are buying a Christmas tree and we are not putting it on from the 1st of December, then why are we buying it? Like, will we be buying it just to enjoy for two days or one week only? I think we need to get it immediately and then so that we can enjoy for the whole of December. <laughs> God willing, I'm planning to explore in the kitchen to baking. You see that Christmas vibe? That Christmas vibe. That Christmas vibe, guys. That you need to come back. Yeah, it's in the culture. Okay, guys. I think that's all for the vlog. I missed you so much. Hugs. Hugs to all of you. Everyone who checked up on me, Sharon. Thank you. We are good. My family is good. By the way, follow us at Light Baby Shop on Instagram and you will be seeing me daily, like daily. You will just be seeing status update, what update. And that's us, you know. You can also join our um, Light Baby Shop WhatsApp group. Right there you will see us chat as moms. You guys, you guys, if you're not following Light Baby Shop, don't know what you're doing. If you're a mother and you're not, or a parent or an auntie or an uncle, and you're not following light baby shop and you're not buying from us you're missing out by the way you're missing out so bye guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye Open shoes.